so maybe you're tired of living in a box or rectangle, whatever you want to call this house, and you want to figure out ways you can make your base a little bit better. In today's video, I'm going to be transforming this rectangle of a house or whatever you want to call it into a much better house. And I'll be showing you different ways and different blueprints you can use to make your base look a little bit better instead of this box right here. And if you have a box on your base, that's the shape of this house. It's all right. We all have our different building styles and there's no wrong building style. There's no right building style, but there's just different types of styles. And that's my goal to introduce you to some of those new styles in this video. So there's several important parts to a house. You have the front door, of course, you have the windows, you have the walls, you have the roof, which I have to zoom out so you can see because it's rather flat. And then of course you have the floor and then what goes on inside the house, like furniture and whatnot. That's a completely different story because we're just talking about building a house, not furnishing it. So those are going to be the five parts of the video. We're going to be upgrading each of those parts in different uh, portions of this video. So stick along for those. But for starters, we're going to begin working with with, I don't know, front door or window. Uh, we'll do the front door. So what we want to go ahead and start with doing is removing this doorway, of course, and we're also going to remove the surrounding blueprints because I'm going to show you a better way you can actually make your doors so that they're a little bit more pretty. So for starters, you're going to need a post blueprint and we're going to be placing several of these. We're going to place two of these stacked like so. We're going to go ahead, tilt it on the ground like this and actually place it where the door is going to go. Because what we want to do is we actually want to make sure that the door is elevated enough so that it actually doesn't clip with the floor because you might have seen that earlier. Then we're just going to stack two more posts like this there oh hold on there we go and this is what our doorway looks like so far of course we need to make sure it can fit this door here so let's go ahead grab this really quickly slide it in here and as you can see there are there there's still a little bit of height that we have to uh, compensate for so what we're going to do is we're going to take out the tiny floor we're gonna pop one down two down three down and four down and there's several different things you can actually do I'm gonna show you two variations of this front door we're going to go ahead place this like so there we go and this is the first variation right here it's a little bit hard to see with all the percentages floating around but we have some posts and tiny floors that are used to make this frame so before we actually fill in these blueprints, there's one important thing you might want to think about, and that is what wood type you want to use. Because you might have noticed that this entire house is made out of oak wood, and that's fine. It's a nice, easy wood that you can just get from everywhere. There's oak trees all around us, but we can also t uh, take into consideration some of the other trees in the game and build nice uh, contrasting colors like this here, where I have the oak wood here, and this is, I think, either elm or pine. I built this out of two different woods on accident, but there's different woods that go well together and these are some of them so what we're going to do is we actually collected some elm off camera and we're going to be using this to fill in all of these blueprints so we're going to go ahead just chop off a few pieces and i'll show you what it looks like in just a moment so we went ahead and filled in the surrounding blueprints and here is what the door looks like. This is definitely better than what we had previously, but there's also different types of doorways you can make with different types of frames. And there's one other type of door that I do want to show you. So really quickly, what we're going to do is we're actually going to move the blueprints out by one stud. So we're just going to slide them over uh, one unit like this so that they're actually sticking out from the walls and it'll look a bit better. I'll explain why in just a moment and hopefully you agree as well, but we're just taking these posts out like this and actually for these tiny floors I'm pretty sure we can just get rid of them for the time being so we're just gonna place them over here uh, maybe you want to build this type of door if you do that's fantastic so just slide these over here like this and we're going to go ahead and place down two more posts and one thing you'll begin to notice is that this doorway is getting extremely tall and that's fine I mean you might have to build a slightly higher roof, some slightly higher walls if you actually want to fit in some of these fancier doorways. But if you take a look at my house here really quickly, I'll show you. Like we have some really high ceilings and that allows us to be a bit more um, creative with our designs. So that's what we're doing over here is we're just being creative with our designs. We're going to fill these in really quickly. I thought that was wood for a second. We have to actually chop our own wood. But we're going to fill all of these in and it'll create a nice design where you actually have a little window uh, above the doorway. There we go. And this is what the doorway looks like and while we are working on the front of the house we're also going to go ahead and pay attention to the windows because with windows you can make so many fun designs and I want to show you some like these over here are sort of uh, lacking in I don't know design just because they don't really have a frame and I have to replace those eventually 
But one idea I had for one of my designs was actually using wires to create a frame. It looks better in the light, of course, but that's one window example. We can also go over here really quickly and I have this new build going on and we have these beautiful windows. I haven't really filled in the panes though. And they actually stick out from the house like this. And this is a design I really like with my builds. I've sort of been experimenting with it uh, lately and it turns out to be quite nice. So this is what I have going on right now. Still experimenting a little with this whole build, but here are like different types of windows we have going on. I really love how this area turned out, by the way. But what we want to try to do is add some variation to our builds, of course, and you can do that by adding different types of windows. So what we want to do now is we're going to just take out some of these blueprints uh, so we can actually have a bit more space to work with. We're just completely destroying the front of the house. We're not going to add any additional windows. You can be a little creative with that uh, with your builds, because, of course, no one has this exact house here. I just want to give you some ideas that you can work with. So the front of the house is completely exposed now. So uh, Mr. Ducky is just sitting there. Hello. So what we want to actually start with is patching up some of the walls around this door just so that it looks a little bit better. And then we can actually get a, uh, an idea of the scale of this house. So we're going to just take this 8x2, plop that there. Uh, we probably could make this house a little bit taller and maybe actually get the wood grain all going in the same direction. But I'm not going to worry about that too much. So we're just going to plop that 4x2 up here and we're going to raise this roof up a little bit higher. And of course, we will be building a roof for this house eventually because originally it was quite flat over here, but we're going to add some, I don't know, angles to it for, uh, for change. And what we're going to do next is we're just going to take a blueprint and what we're going to do with this is we're going to place it in between the door frame and the window because you want to have some sort of separation. I don't know why I'm having just such difficulties placing blueprints, but there we go. So we're going to place this here like that. You could even go with an eight by two, but we're just going to use an eight by four and place one right there and then stack one on top like this. That's nice. So, of course, we have to get rid of this roof eventually, but we're going to go ahead and build our window right here. And there's several different types you can make like I showed you, but the one I'm going to go with is going to be rather simple. We're going to take this 8x4 right here, plop it down on its side and go ahead and pull out the post blueprint. This blueprint is great for adding detail to your builds. So what we're going to do anyways is we're going to take it. We're going to place one right here. We're going to go ahead, place it on its side. And this is going to sort of remind you of what we did for the doorway, except it's going to be a little bit different because we're not building an entire door here. And we actually want to make it so that it's easy to just place window pane blueprints in here or the the panes itself uh, instead of having to buy all sorts of like weird shape ones. So we're going to place these on top like so. There we go. And then tilt it on its side like this. And then you have a nice window here. And one thing we can also do is like add this right here like that. There we go. So this is a pretty unique shape. I mean, it sort of matches the door. If we had a bit more space, though, I would go for a slightly larger window or one that even goes a little bit lower per chance uh, to like the ground, for example. So we're going to leave it at that. We're going to go ahead and also grab. Uh, we don't have an eight by two, so we're just going to go ahead, just patch this wall up right here. We're going to place that right there. Uh, we can grab this eight by two over here and we'll also need an eight by four maybe in just a second. But we're going to plop this over here. Actually, we don't need one. Great. And filling in the last blueprint, we have our completed window. And here we have the completed window. It definitely does match the door. I mean, you don't have to match your windows with your door, but I thought it was just a nice touch. And just because this window frame isn't really that big, there's not really much to work with. But I also did extend it out by one stud, as you can see. That way it does uh, add some depth. Uh, that's what it's called when you have these blueprints that are just sticking out rather than just having a completely flat wall. Of course, if you want to have a flat wall, all you literally have to do is take all these blueprints I placed and move them back one stud. So this is the current state of our house, and you'll probably notice that it is already quite massive. Uh, I mean, not not the inside. If we go inside, it doesn't really look like anything too crazy. Also, we have to uh, patch this hole in the floor eventually, but that's in a later section. But this house is definitely growing in size, and hopefully uh, this is giving you some good ideas for your base. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the next part, which is I think we're going to do walls. Yeah, let's do some walls. So what I really like with this build over here that I'm showing, it's the store I built is that I added these nice contrasting pillars that are on the edge right here. And if I had at the time, I would have added some window frames that would have matched this oak here, but I didn't. But we're going to try and incorporate some of this into this house right here because it's a rectangle already and we have these corners with these indents. So why don't we go ahead and fill them with a nice fitting blueprint? And with walls, of course, when you have a slightly larger base, you can become more creative, such as this wall design I made here that sort of uh, extends all the way across the ceiling into these pillars here I built in this display. 
display case. But of course, this is just a small build that we're working on. So we're only going to be worrying about the walls for that house and not necessarily uh, this massive house I have built here. Well, I mean, it's not really a house. It's like still under construction. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this rectangle shape because I'm not trying to build a whole house here. I'm just trying to give you ideas and we're going to go ahead and we're going to experiment with this blueprint right here. So this is, I don't even know what it's called. I mean, it's called the smooth wall, but there's also other smooth wall blueprints. Like you have smooth wall right here. You have uh, yeah, a lot of smooth wall blueprints, but we're going to take this one with the indents and we're going to experiment with it just a little bit. So we're going to place one right here place a second one right here and we're going to do the same on the other side as well and usually I wouldn't make my houses or keep them as a rectangle I'd like to add some different rooms that have like I don't know add some different shapes to the house instead of just a rectangle uh like this here where it's like staggered and whatnot but we're just doing this for video and we're going to fill these in with the elm wood just so that they do match the other exterior trim like around the doorway and the window just so that it does add some nice uh, color variation instead of just being solid oak. And what's really nice about these corner blueprints is that if you don't like how they look, I mean, I like how they are right now, but if you don't, you can just rotate them and you basically have two completely or not two, but I don't know. You just have new blueprints and they'll look like this. So you have this option here or you have this option here. I like this option though, because I mean, it looks cooler. So the next thing to address is the floor for the floor to be changed. We have to displace Mr. Ducky. We're just going to plop him outside along with his golden toilet. The only piece of furniture that he owns. And we're going to rip this floor out. We're just going to and I, I'm going to save this blueprint, though, but we'll delete those because we're going to go with a completely different color, because when you build a house, I mean, you don't necessarily want the floor to match the walls because it ends up looking a little bit more cramped or like, um, I don't know. The space just looks smaller. So what we want to do is we want to add some nice color variation as well. Just like we did with the exterior, we want to do that with the interior as well. And this video isn't going to be a complete guide of every single type of floor you can make because there are so many different patterns. You can make tiles using a bunch of small floors. You can make uh, you, can, you can like emulate uh, plank flooring by using uh, sort of like the corrugated wall blueprints. And I don't know if I necessarily want to do that, but these are very nice blueprints, especially if you want to have a cool looking floor. So we might as well just go with these. I mean, if you don't want to go with them, just go with any regular blueprint. Just make them a different color than your walls. So we have all of the blueprints placed. I also placed some blueprints here just to fill in this tiny gap here. There's like a post and two tiny floors in case you're interested, but we want to go ahead and figure out what type of wood we want to use. We could always go with Elm, even though I don't like how it would match the uh, like the trim we've been using. It wouldn't be a bad choice. There's also Cherry, which is a fair, fairly neutral color. There's Koa, there's Walnut, there's Birch, but we're going to, I think we should just go with Elm. I'm not, I don't think I'll regret it. I mean, we're trying to keep the woods we use in this build quite simple so we're just going to use some uh, uh some elm and i don't know how this is going to turn out uh i think it'll it'll be decent it's not going to be anything too crazy but it's not going to look bad either so just like that, we have this beautiful looking floor. The only annoying thing is that when you're walking across it, you might notice that your camera jitters a little. I mean, if you notice, if you're just looking at my screen right now, you can probably see it's bumping a little or vibrating, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's one of the downsides of this floor because it is corrugated like it is, but it does look nice. I mean, it's cool looking. So that's one way you can make your floors in your house. But of course, there are so many different ways, and that's just one simple way. So this is what our house looks like so far. But next thing we need to do, I mean, we have to build the roof. That's the final part of the video, of course, but we don't really have these walls built up yet. So I'm gonna go ahead, fix that really quickly. So the walls are now complete, just like I promised. And this is what our house looks like. I mean, it looks like a really tall rectangle now. I mean, this, the facade almost looks like a square now, but this is what the house is like. Of course, if it rains, we're gonna get rained on. So let's go ahead and build ourselves a roof, of course, for the duck. So welcome to the final part of the video where we're going to be building the roof and you might be noticing I made some progress on it and that's because when I was trying to film this video the other day there was a bug that was like breaking blueprints in the game. It was really difficult to actually place them as you might have noticed in the video but as of now it's actually been fixed so that's really nice but one thing is it's very blinky like this <laughs> so if you stare at it for too long your eyes start to hurt but i mean as long as the blueprints are fixed we can continue on with the video because i i recorded me building a whole roof for this house but it didn't work out very well so now we have this blinking blueprint instead which is making it a bit better so for the roof we are building a different type of roof i don't exactly know what it's called but let me show you what blueprints we're going to need we're going to go ahead we're going to take out the post uh we're going to place uh, like a little bit of a row here and i'm 
I'm just emulating sort of what I did on that side because I recorded that part um, earlier and I don't see a reason to destroy all of the blueprints. But once you have all these down like this, uh, we can fill that in with some oak wood. And now that all of those blueprints are filled in, we're gonna go ahead and pull out two eight by two blueprints. Uh, it's not the right one, there we go. And we're going to place these sort of in the middle right here. So right here, so you have like two studs of space here. And then chase, uh, just place this one here and you'll have the two studs there as well. So again, let's get those filled in really quickly with some oak wood and then I'll show you what's next. So now that everything's filled in, we're going to go ahead and start using some wedges because when you're building a roof, wedges can sometimes be your best friend because they are like the pinnacle of roof design is having like a sloped roof. I mean, you can go for modern design as well where it's more flat, but just for this house, just because it's a little bit more traditional, we're going to be using the two over four wedge with a combination of a few other wedges, which I'll talk about when we need them. So with this roof, it's a little bit weird how it is. Um, positioned I guess but what we're going to do is we're going to place this wedge right here like that there we go so you have it overhanging over the edge I mean you know it's a bit of a large overhang I will admit however it does make a large difference especially when you're placing these blueprints because you won't have to place as many because one thing I notice with wedges all the time is that these blueprints you have to place a whole bunch of them just to make a proper roof and if I was recording this yesterday I actually wouldn't have been able to do any of this as easily as I'm doing it that's how terrible it was and that's the whole reason I had to wait to finish this video but now that it's fixed I'm really happy about that that. So anyways, let me explain what we're doing. So we just placed two rows of blueprints. Here is what it looks like. I know there's this little gap here. We'll fix that in just a second, but we're going to go ahead and place a third row of these two over four uh, uh, wedges like this. There we go. And we're just focusing on the top side for now because eventually we're after, we're going to have to uh, like make the bottom of the roof a little bit more smooth because if you can tell already, it's a little bit jagged. And for the roof, we're going to be using this um, this walnut wood right here. It's uh, pretty easy wood to get. It's just in the safari and it gives you this nice brown color, which I really like. It's good for contrasting with some of the lighter woods in the game. And it also matches our door. So 12 blueprints later, this is what our roof currently looks like. It looks fairly decent. You could leave it like this if you really wanted to. I mean, you're missing this whole part of the roof here. But right now, I'm just talking about this piece right here. So with this part right here, there's several ways you can go about finishing it. You could literally place three of these one over or no, these two over four by one wedges right here. Let me show you which one I'm talking about. This one right here. You could place three of them, make it look all complete and whatnot, but I don't really want to. We're just going to place one here, one here, and then down here, we're actually going to go ahead, take out the two by four or two over four wedge and we're just going to place these upside down like so that way the roof isn't all jagged and of course you have to do this on the other side as well and i'm talking about like this side right here and build this whole thing on the other side over here as well so that does take up a little bit of time that's what i was talking about when i was saying that these wedges you need a lot of them when you're building a roof and one thing we can also do, which might be a little bit easier in case you don't like having to fill in all these wedge blueprints, is taking some large floor blueprints and placing them in the middle like this. Of course, this isn't enough. We need to go ahead and build three more of these. So just take the large floor, plop them down like so, and then get them filled in. Now I'm going to go ahead, fill these all in, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So this is what it looks like. It really looks great, especially because we went with the two over four wedges. It allows us to make a slightly thicker roof. I don't know what the word is, like maybe an eave. I don't know what the words are, but it looks much better. And you could have literally gone with the, uh, let, let me show you, the one over two wedges because they're the same slope. They're the same. I don't know what words you would understand, but basically they're the same angle. As you can tell, they're basically flush when you put them side by side. However, when you would use this, it would actually be a lot uh, thinner of a blueprint so going with this is a lot better for this house just because it looks very much proportional now of course we have to completely do the same thing on the other side over here and i'm actually going to just speed through it i mean if you care about it you can just uh watch the sped up version perhaps even slow it down somehow but i'm going to go ahead and speed it up just so i'm not wasting anyone's time but we're going to go ahead and basically do the same exact thing
So this is Bunny from the future, and when I was editing the video, I was thinking back, and it was a little bit lazy of me to not go ahead and finish the roof. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how you can get rid of this little imperfected area here and make it look a lot better such um, as it is here. So I just needed these four blueprints. We need two two over four by one wedges and then one one over two by one wedge. And we're just going to take this wedge right here, the tiny one, and we're going to move it so that uh, let's see. Uh, we'll put it right here. So this will go. I'm going to try to hop up here so I can show you up close, but you're going to place this right underneath here like this. So it's like that. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead, and grab these three wedges here. Make sure they're upside down like this place one like so grab the second one place it in between the two wedges like this and then finally grab the final wedge and place it in this final gap right here and it fits together like a puzzle so i wanted to go ahead and show you this you just have to do that four or three more times this um twice on this side and then twice on the back i didn't do it on the back surprise i'm a little bit lazy but this is what it should look like it looks a lot better than this okay let's go ahead and continue with the video it's almost over don't worry I like the roof. It's interesting, but this is what I was trying to go for. It's like it has this like little flat area in the middle. I don't know. I like it. But here we can go ahead, open the door, see the inside. I mean, we didn't really furnish it, but this is what the roof looks like on the inside. So it gives you a lot to work with. It's also pretty high ceiling. So you could probably if you really wanted to, you could build like an attic, store items up there. I don't know how realistic you want your house to be, but Mr. Ducky here. I don't have volume on, <laughs> but Mr. Ducky here, just imagine it quacked, uh, enjoys his house. Uh, here's a little bit of a look around. We have like the nice corners we built again. I didn't really want to add any extra windows to this just to complicate it, uh, but it does look really nice. Did I forget any blueprints? No, I didn't. Okay. So it looks really nice. I love how the windows turned out, how the doorway turned out. And overall, this is a fairly decent house. And if you remember what we started out with, it was just a box. And what we did with that box is we made it into a pretty nice house. But this isn't the only way to build a house. There's so many ways you can make houses in this game. And it's really up to you how creative you want to be and what your design is for what you want to build. So there's no right or wrong with when um, when it comes to like building a house in this game. So do whatever your heart tells you. Okay, guys, I'm done talking, motivating things. I want to go ahead and end this video once and for all. Goodbye.